Amen. Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. This is the day the Lord has made. I pray you're rejoicing and you are glad in it. Listen, we're praying through Psalm 23, and this is day number seven of us praying through Psalm 23, and we've made our way down to Psalm 23 in verse three. And as we're praying through the Psalms, we know that God's word is his will. And we know that when we pray God's word back to him, we're praying his will back to him. And when we pray God's will back to him, we know it will be done on earth as it is in heaven, because that's God's desire for our lives. And so today, thank you for joining with me and praying with me and praying for me as we go in prayer today. Psalm 23 and verse three says, he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. The Lord is our shepherd and we are his sheep. And as the shepherd leads the sheep, he leads me and he leads you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And so today we wanna to pray that, that God will continue to lead us in his word, that he'll continue to read us in the sacred scriptures. Secondly, we wanna pray that God will lead us in his will, that you and I will know God's will for our lives collectively and individually. And we wanna pray that God would lead us in his ways. His ways are not our ways, that as high as the heavens are above the earth, that's how far God's ways and thoughts are above ours. So we pray that we would be led today in the way that God would want us to go. Come on, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we just thank you and pray, praise you, bless you, God, for this day that you have made and God, we are rejoicing. We are glad in it. Lord, I thank you for the privilege of prayer. I thank you for the power of prayer and the potential that is contained in prayer. Lord, we thank you that you are, in fact, the Lord, that you are self-existing. There is no other God beside you. There is no other God other than you. We thank you that you're from everlasting to everlasting. You are eternal. You are alpha and omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. We thank you, O oh God, that you are supreme that you are the most high God. And we thank you that you are our creator. You're the creative God and we are your creation. We thank you, Lord, that we relate to you as sheep and you are our shepherd, that you cover us and that you walk with us and partner with us along the way that you care for our souls. We thank you, Lord, because you're our shepherd. We won't want for anything. You'll supply everyone in all of our needs. We thank you, Lord, that you cause us to lie down and in green pastures, and you allow us to rest, to recline, and to relax. We thank you, Lord, that you give us peace of mind, peace of heart, and peace around our surroundings, that you lead us beside the still waters. We thank you, Lord, that you restore our soul from extended exposure to evil and extended seasons of exhaustion. And today, Lord God, we pray, according to Psalm 23 and 3, that you'll lead us in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Lord, this world is mean and evil, is full of traps, tricks, and temptations to try to get us off track. But we pray you would lead us in the right path, that you, when you would lead us in paths of righteousness for your namesake. We pray, Lord God, that you would lead us, first of all, in your word. Lord, help us to stay committed to the cause of Christ. Help us to be settled in the scriptures, Lord. Help us to walk in your word. Lord, help us, as Psalm 1 says, to meditate upon your word, upon your law, day and night. Lord, help us to, to desire the sincere milk of the word. Lord, we know that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So let us read and hear your word daily, Lord, that our faith may grow. Lord, lead us in your word. Help us to understand your word. And as we understand your word, help us to understand and know your will. Lord, we know that your will is your word. We know, we know, God, that your word will not fail, that not one jot or tittle will, be, will, call, will fail in your word, that heaven and earth will pass away, but your word will remain standing forevermore. So, Lord God, we pray that your will would be done on earth, even as it is in heaven. Lord, the angels immediately do your will. So help us to do your will immediately, when we find out what it is in your word, lead us in your will. God, somebody's trying to figure out their purpose in life. They're trying to figure out what direction you would have them to go. 
what job to take, what career path to choose, what school to go to, what friends to connect with, who to be in fellowship with, who to marry, who uh, to be connected to. Lord, I pray that you would give us insight into your will for our lives and that when we see it, God, we would follow it, that we would literally, Lord, walk in your ways, lead us in your ways, God, teach us your ways, lead us in paths of righteousness for your name's sake, Jesus. Not that we may get the glory, but that you may get the glory. Not that we may be honored, but you would ultimately get all of the honor. Not that we would be praised for how right we are, how, how, how well things are going for us, but Lord God, that you would get all of the praise and glory and honor for you are our shepherd and you lead us in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. I thank you, Lord, for, for all of your sheep. I thank you for, for leading us and guiding us in the right paths. And I pray, Lord God, that you'll do this today and each and every day that you send our way. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Listen, we've been praying for the last seven days through Psalm 23, and we'll continue our journey tomorrow. Um, subscribe to the channel. Share the channel with someone else. Let them know New Horizons Church is praying through Psalm 23 about our relationship with the shepherd of our souls. And I bless God for you today, and I thank God for you tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. Be victorious. God bless.